the game got really physical. Yeah. Uh, what was your take? How did you guys handle it? I loved it. It was great. It was tremendous. Uh, physical game. Uh, guys handled it well. Great poise. Great execution. Wouldn't have it any other way. I don't like to see him. I'm great. I'm glad that he's fine. Uh, what I liked most was just how he, he jumped right up, didn't lay around, didn't really phase him. Just he went right up, went to the free throw line, did his business. So uh, I don't like the fact that he did it, but I'm happy he was okay. But I'm more happy how he responded to it. Just get up, move on to the next play. And uh, the team responded well too. So it's a credit to him. I mean, like I said, I just like how JT handled it. It's great. Get hit like that, pop right back up. It's big time. Yeah, I mean, looks can be deceiving. I was fine. I mean, I just thought that it was a miscommunication between the officials and I, and we just had to get it settled. Joe, they outshot you from three. Like, this was a game you had to grind out. Yeah, you yeah. You enjoy yeah. this kind of challenge for the season. For, anytime burning the season is great. Like you said, that's a good team. Charles is a hell of a coach. They're, uh, they execute well, and they're just talented. Like, they could go through uh, stretches of uh, tough shot making, you know? And so I just like the way we handled it. And like you said, they outshot us from three, but we got to the free throw line. Uh, we were more physical on our layups, and I thought we just made winning plays. So, uh, again, this, this, uh, the season's about finding ways to win, building identities. And uh, I thought tonight was a step in that direction, you know? I'll put it this way. If they're on the floor, I believe in them. Charles, can you speak to the decisions that you made at the center position, especially how thin you are without Chris Thompson out? Yeah, like I said, if they're on the floor, I believe in them. So it's been a strength of our, uh, really, I think, you know, since I've been here, it's been a strength of our, our roster. Uh, we just have guys that we believe in. They work really hard. The player development team work with them. And uh, I just, whoever's available, I feel like we've got a chance to win, whoever it is. So. Uh, they did a great job uh, just playing, uh, mixing and matching, communicating, different sub patterns. Jordan goes in, knocks down a shot, looks good, Nimi and Luke. So uh, to me, whoever's out there, we got we have a chance to win. That's how it has to be. So it's so a credit to them. Sam told me at the half that he was a little frustrated defensively, uh, allowing the Hornets getting 42 points in the second quarter, and you guys make it in 10 to hold teams to 25. Yeah. What second half you did, what changed? Um, we turned it over a little bit less. We took away their transition and we kept them off the free throw line. I thought we did a better job closing out the shooters. Uh, but they're, 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 because of their talent, they're going to go on a small run like that. It's can you manage it and can you keep them from going on a couple? But 325 one quarters against a team like that, you got to be proud of it. So I thought our guys did a good job defending and we got to keep that up. Jason's way of showing he's pissed is getting right back up and going to the that, That's It's demonstrative. You don't get With Jalen, though, kind of was the enforcer and he approached him. Grant had to be held back by Tony. How do you want your players to react? Like, you don't want them to constantly, you don't want Jason to take a beating like that. But how do you want your players to react? We talked about the fighting and all that before, but just to defend themselves to make yeah. sure that, that stuff doesn't happen. How do you want them to take care of uh, I thought we handled it well. Uh, everyone's got their own way of handling it, as long as, we, as long as we got each other's back and we have a team. But I thought uh, after the technical, Jalen went on like a 6-0 run. He got to the free throw line. It's just to me, you just can you hone your focus in on even more of the details and the execution and the physicality? And can we win the mental, emotional, and psychological battles that are going on throughout the game? It's the most important thing. But so as long as we have each other's back, uh, that's all that matters. I like, yes, I like seeing guys show that they have each other's back. Yeah, absolutely. What's Last question. What's the key to kind of you know replicating this performance tomorrow? Obviously, it was a little chippy at the end, and you got a little closer than you probably like. No, 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 no. See, I think that's the problem. Like, it's gonna no, like. I don't care how close it gets. I care about how we execute and how we play in the process towards winning. And so that's a good team. They're well talented, well coached. Like it doesn't matter who you're playing against. I'm not looking to win by a large margin. We're looking to go to the process of winning every single game and whatever that looks like. And if it has to be a one point win, it's got to be a one point win. And uh, you could play really well and lose. You could play really good and, and you could play really well and, and win or lose and vice versa. So at the end of the day, I don't care how close it is. I care about uh, the approach and the way we play. And I thought today we had a great approach to the game. Uh, wasn't great in the second quarter, but had a great second half. Sorry to cut you off. I want to make sure that's known. Thank you, Thanks. Thank you.